My name is Zoe Champion and I'm a prevention and engagement worker for Newcastle Treatment and Recovery. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, since 2015. <laughs> what got you involved in this type of work? Uh, so a friend of mine actually worked as part of the probation service and they were kind of looking for some extra workers and some people who might be interested in this as a field and at the time I was a holistic therapist uh, and they were looking for people who could do some holistic therapies with this uh, client group. Um, and that's basically what got me started and it was just something that I found very fascinating um, and it was something that I realised actually I think it's really important to help some people who don't always have a voice to be able to say what you know is going on in their lives. And what brought you to Europe? Uh, so this is part of the exchange that's been arranged so our management team kind of came up with this great idea that it would be fantastic that we could reach out to the New York service as well and just be able to do an exchange where literally members of our team can go over here and see how it works here, uh, do a bit of shadowing, a bit of outreach and then likewise for the team in New York to be able to come over to Newcastle and do the same so and we were really really fortunate to be the two people selected to come over and do it. How is your time done so far in New York? What types of things have you been doing in your lives? It's been absolutely fascinating so Firstly, going and seeing one of the centres, being shown round it, being shown like how it works, how things are set up there, what's available there as well. And then we've done quite a bit of outreach, which has been absolutely amazing, being able to go out there and being able to talk to the participants out and about. Uh, initially, my colleague and I were kind of hanging back a little bit, trying not to be too kind of in anyone's face or anything, but it was the amount of participants who were kind of wanting to make eye contact and wanting to talk to us and wanting to communicate with us. It's like, it didn't matter that we were a different nationality, that we were a different face, a different, they wanted to share their story with us. And that was really humbling and really powerful for us. Any stories or experiences stand out to you? Oh, there's so many. Uh, there was there was been some really incredible like success stories as well there was one of the participants that we spoke to yesterday morning came in and he talked about a, th a lot of the struggles and the challenges that he's had and a lot of like his mental health issues and things and just how he's been able to try and remain positive every day um which was really a really empowering conversation to have with him and be able to listen to that story but it really reminded me of a lot of the similarities to some of our service users as well it's like that's one of the biggest similarities, just the mindset and the challenges and the struggles that both of these individual, you know, both sets of individuals must go through. Is there anything you've learned that surprised you or was unexpected? Yeah, I didn't realise there was such a social media um, presence here in the New York services, which we kind of have a little bit in Newcastle, but like I think it's incredible that you've got like the TikTok videos and the Instagram videos as to how to use the kits and how to use the testing kits. It's like there's so there's a fantastic like anonymity there for a for a service user to be able to go on there and be able to learn how to use that. Um, that would be something that would be incredible to be able to take back to the UK. Yes. It's just been absolutely mind blowing. It's something that I'll I'll always hold close to my heart and kind of working in recovery and working with people with addiction issues. It, I learned very quickly that it's some people just don't get a fair start in life um, and that's something that I'll always hold clear, you know, close to my heart that I think it's so important that people get a fair chance to be able to make changes to their life if they want to do or just basically live the life they want to live without any stigma and be able to live a happy and independent healthy life on their terms. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay.